Morning everyone. I have been uh, pretty surprised and kind of shocked this morning as that I ordered something off eBay, I'm an eBay fan I am. And it's quite a costly item, a couple of hundreds of pounds. And it was ordered Monday and I sent it recorded mail special delivery, which basically means I get it the next day and it's insured up to 500 pounds. So I've jumped up, looked down there, I seen the door was open, and so the postman was in the porch. And so this is my journey. I've got to do this. It's quite a, you could say, a big house. It takes me a while to get to the front door. And so I'm coming down here. Remember, the postman's knocked on the doors. I'm figuring I've got to search and well, I've got to sign for my shit. I've done this. But there wasn't, actually there wasn't no key in the door, that's what took me a few more. There wasn't no key in the door, so it was just locked, so I've got to get the key. Get the pop it in. I'll do this, by the time that, you can actually see the porch door. The postman's gone. And so, when I've opened the door, this parcel was there. But I kind of heard him throw it as well. He quickly threw it onto the floor and then he left. Which leads me to point out something else. This is Royal Mail special delivery, guaranteed next day delivery. And so, it's, it says on there, guaranteed. This has to be signed for as well. And I don't know if th these tabs tear off, otherwise they wouldn't be there, I don't know, I guess. And the seller off eBay has paid 11 pound for this. And obviously they choose this sort of delivery because it's an expensive item and they don't want to lose their money. But this comes... What surprised me was, I knew I didn't sign for it and I knew it was Royal Mail Special Delivery. Crazy thing is, I thought I'll check online and see what's the situation. So I've checked online and the postman has actually signed my name. He's actually, it says printed and it says my surname. Oh, print, well, I'm guessing who's signed for it. It's printed my name and he's put a squiggle, a signature, acting as if I have actually signed for this item, which I haven't, obviously. I wish I would have had a camera in the porch now. I might do that next time I'm expecting uh, some sort of delivery. Because he's obviously... That's fraud. He cannot just sign my name, pretending he's delivered an item, which is an expensive item that someone's paid extra money for to be delivered. So, I've Googled it, and it doesn't sound like it's just, uh, uncommon. A lot of people, because you can check online, and I've checked online, and it, <laughs> that's what's, I'll post a picture of it uh, towards the end, maybe. But, he's actually put a signature, I will try and cover up my surname, which is on the top left of the corner, on the uh, picture. But he just, it's, what if I wasn't actually in and I was actually out somewhere and the postman, because you try, kind of trust them, don't you? So what if I was out, out and about, and then I, I checked my online tracking to make sure the delivery man hadn't been yet, and then I fucking see that he's delivered it and I've signed for it and I'm, I'm out. I'm like, how the fuck does that work? Ah, oh, it's just, so, it kind of, uh, sellers, you want to be wary of sending your ship Royal Mail special delivery because Royal Mail now I kind of had a bit of respect for him, you know. And now, when I see these employees fraudulently signing signatures of people that are meant to be because obviously he could see the name on the parcel, which is kind of catch 22 when they just have to sign a name, but the signature still doesn't obviously look like mine. But then again, them stupid little computer things, you just squiggle anyway. But I still make the effort to put my actual signature in these boxes and I'll, I'll come in, I'll say, God, that was tough, it's a bit early, my hands are a bit sleeping still. But I still get the general gist of my signature, which isn't what this guy's put on the uh, system. So, I just couldn't believe it. It took me that little amount of time to come down the stairs, which was probably like 30 odd seconds. Because I was actually asleep, he woke, I left the window open to hear the postman knock on the door. That woke me. I got up, got dressed, come downstairs. By the time I got to here, 
he's fucked off and he's gone and he's signed my name for an item that costs a couple of hundred quid. I'm sure the seller wouldn't be happy to lose it because the postman has fraudulently made a fucking signature saying that he's delivered it. I mean, would it have been much? And then actually, I seen him drive off in the van. So it wasn't like he had to carry it. He could have just took it back to the depot and I would have uh, come and happily picked it up in a more genuine fashion. But yeah, the seller has paid £11 for this special guaranteed delivery which entitles a signature and insurance up to £500 and I will now, I will message the seller and say look, uh, you won't believe this but your parcel was delivered, I didn't sign for it, I missed the postman because I was getting up, he had gone by the time I got downstairs and just for future reference be wary when sending raw mail special delivery because their staff will not get a signature they will fuck off and they will just sign any old name they'll put a squiggle and you won't get your money back looking what's online for the comments because people have asked that before in the past so that was my little shocker this morning if you find that interesting or helpful give it a thumbs up and this kind of stuff happens, well not this kind of stuff, but opening stuff happens quite a lot to me. So, get subscribing, thanks for watching, and leave me a comment if this happened to you or something similar, because from what's online, if you try and get your money back when you're entitled to this compensation, uh, Royal Mail will just fob you off, because they're not interested in giving you money back. People have actually had cases where these sort of items have been delivered, they haven't got a signature. And so, person, the recipient like me will get in touch with Royal Mail asking where my parcel is and they'll just lose the money. Royal Mail will just say, no, it doesn't, doesn't go in your favour. So, thanks for watching. Catch you again. Ciao.